Good morning and thanks for watching. I'm Susie Moore and today we're talking about the touchy topic of haters. There are two types of people that we classify as haters in this world. One is a critic who comes from a place of love and another is a real legitimate hater, one who comes from a place of fear or envy. To be criticized with negative intention means that you've aroused something within someone else, such as jealousy or a feeling of inadequacy. And in order for the hater to feel better and elevated somehow, they need to put you down. When someone condemns our work, comments unkindly on our appearance, judges our parenting style, or disapproves of any actions that we take, it's a reflection of that person, not of you. Take relief and comfort that a critic's words often have nothing to do with you at all. Here are some key reasons why critics can be a great thing in your life. It means you're doing something. In order to be criticized, it means you're taking action in some form. Aristotle said, the only way to avoid criticism is to say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing. It can make you better. When criticism is positively fueled and constructive, it helps us improve and learn and grow. I love hearing thoughtful and useful feedback about my writing and coaching style. I take it on board and use what works for me. The person shows you who they really are. Negatively fueled critics show us who they are, often unfulfilled people who are therefore naturally unsupportive of your path. The way the critics react to you about how you're doing is a reflection of how they feel about their own lives. Critics also reassure us that we're on the right track. The further you get in your life, the more critics you can expect. It means that people are paying attention to you. Stephen Pressfield said in The War of Art that criticism is what you really want as a creative person. He calls it the supreme compliment. Critics prove that we're worthy of other people's energy. When someone is talking about you in a hateful way, it means that you're affecting them somehow. They're using their time and energy and attention to talk about you. Funnily enough, being the subject of someone's criticism can be a very flattering thing. If I may quote another fabulous person, Oscar Wilde famously said, there's only one thing worse than being talked about. It teaches you about yourself. I was so sensitive when I first started writing, I was really shocked at the venom of online commenters. Sometimes the responses can be helpful because they point out something that I'd never thought of before or considered, or they can highlight or think in a different way about something. But in the end, I know that I have to approve of my own work and what I put out there. And the more confident I feel in who I am, the less influenced I feel by other people. The way that you let criticism impact you is a great barometer of how strong you're becoming. There will always be people who dislike you and who disagree with what you're doing, your ideas and your actions, and you can forgive them if they upset you. Remember that the road to success invites a lot of critics, so the sooner you know what to take on board and what to release, the better and easier for you. The fact that criticism exists at all also reminds us that all we can ever do is our best. We can speak our truth, deliver our best work, and then just surrender the rest. Expect critics, it's proof that you're growing. And the ladder of growth is the only place to be. Now, please share with me, how do you overcome your critics and haters? I would love your thoughts and advice. Please share with me your ideas in the comments box below, and I look forward to continuing the conversation there.